This is what's been going on all morning long. Tenders are coming apart. Wires are being soldered. You know, when you have a table like this, that means it's either zero degrees outside, which it is, or you've gone over the edge. Digging through the box. I think we need to see which ones of these run. Let's start with this old 232. So it's about 1962. Just put it on there and see if it goes. This is an old sheet metal frame, one of the earlier sheet metal frames. I guess they changed somewhere in the late 50s. And you can tell the difference between these and the newer MPCs by a couple of characteristics. One, this has the electrical pickup on the front truck where the MPC does not. It's integrated back with the motor and the rear trucks. And then second is, uh, you can see there's a different design. The rear trucks has a electrical pickup there. But these have magnet traction. And these have got a little rubber band for traction. And we're going to explore that a lot in upcoming videos. One thing I'm curious about is if the motor characteristics are different where I can't put them back to back. Explore that too. I think they're close enough that I can hook them together. So that answers that question. right here without the running gear see if this one can run yes it runs runs 
nicely. Let's see if I can get the E unit to work. It's even got a light. It runs smooth. So that's a candidate for restoration right there. Working E unit and motor runs smooth. And we're down around 9 volts. And it has no problem. Think about that. These old 249Es are from the 30s. All right, let's try another one. So this guy runs right here. It needs some bits and pieces, but it runs. This one next, um, it has a repaired E unit, but it's got some kind of a little bit of a grind going with the gears. We've been running this for a while. But uh, let's see what voltage it takes to get going. That one there, the more it runs, the better it gets. So it's yet another candidate for restoration. And actually, it runs, once it gets going, even better at the lower voltages. I gotta get a digital readout so you can, you can actually quantify that. It just needs to get run, that one right there. Two more to go. You got this one right here. And it's got a bent wheel, but it runs. Every once in a while it'll snag on that uh, drive rod. Somewhere right in there you can feel it snag. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's also missing one of its rollers. And for that reason, when I was a kid, I put a wire from these rollers to help feed that, that locomotive, and it worked. But I gotta figure out why it's binding up. I'm pretty sure I know what's binding up. If you look really, really carefully, you'll see that one of these pins is bent on the drive wheel. And that makes these things bind up just a little bit.
so it kind of hurt me jerk its way along. Get down to those lower voltages, it binds itself up. But it's also a candidate for restoration, though, isn't it? That's what it needs right there. And they're still available, believe it or not. New old stock. Alright, this is a 249E, where the other ones were 249s. I'm not sure what the differences are. And it's pretty complete and in pretty good shape. Let's see how that one runs. It has all its drive rods and all the little bits and pieces. It's got the jewels. It's got a mostly full cow catcher. Some of them, most of them are broke somehow. Now, pretty nice locomotive. Let's see if it runs as nice as it looks. Every once in a while they need a little help. See, I'm already down to 9 volts. I think this one needs a job so I think we're going to hook some cars onto it and have it pull them around for a little bit and then after we run this one to look pretty we're going to go back and run this one and let it, let it wear those gears in a little more. These old 10 plate blue cars were pretty much high end of their day. Check those out. Check out those electromagnet controlled couplers. There's the pickup. Sliding doors. Got lights inside. The roof comes off. You squeeze those tabs and the roof comes right off. These were really cool in their day. 
an evolution on those magnetic trucks for these where the coil is inside there not quite as big and see that little rod right there that magnetizes it this one's a little bit bent up but I don't think I've ever seen one of these operate while we're on the subject of trucks and electric controlled couplers look at this guy this has got to be from the 50s die cast trucks another magnet that is powered by that little pickup you know somewhere along the line they went from that to these things right here you got a magnet which pulls down on those and releases the couplers you know My God, there's so many different permutations of this stuff. You can go on forever. I'm a chainsaw and outboard focused uh, shop. I'm not a train focused shop, but this stuff kind of came out of the boxes. A lot of it's been sitting around for decades. And uh, of course, now we've added some stuff to it. It's cold outside. <laughs> It was minus 7 degrees this morning. It's the perfect time to play with trains.